Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install our Catback exhaust from MBRP on our 2021 F-150 with a 5 liter V8. Now this particular kit is the Black Series with a 3 inch pipe and the 4 inch tip. We're going to be installing the resonator, but we also have the option to install it without. The tools I'll be using for this installation are a ratchet, 13 millimeter and 15 millimeter sockets, electric impact driver, a mallet, and a 5 16 Allen wrench. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna start off just past our catalytic converter at our junction, uh, our coupling that goes to our factory resonator. What we're gonna do is loosen this up. We're not gonna completely remove these bolts yet. We're gonna use a 13 millimeter and just get those loose so that we can wiggle it around. All right, next, between our factory resonator and muffler, we're gonna find a band clamp. We're gonna use a 15 millimeter and loosen that up. Okay, now up on top, you're gonna notice we've got a little locator pin. Uh, that is attached to this part of the pipe that goes in the muffler. Uh, that is what's going to keep it from sliding out of the pipe that comes, comes out of our resonator. So what we have to do is break this loose by moving it around, wiggle that free. And I've already squirted some penetrating oil in here to help us out. Now we can take and rotate our resonator pipe to free it up so we can slide it out. Once I get the muffler pulled out from the, the hanger bracket from the isolator, there's two more isolators, one just behind the muffler and one just as it bends next to our spare tire. Uh, those will pop out as well. Once that comes out, nothing will be supporting this, the rear side of this muffler system. So I've got it supported right back here uh, so that it doesn't just drop on me. One thing also that I did is I squirted some penetrating oil in each one of my isolators and then you work them back and forth so that you know they're gonna slide out. This one is the only one that's got a flare on it, so I put a little bit of grease on there to get it past the flare. The two in the rear have no flare at all, so as I push this through, those are just going to drop out, and I'll be able to guide it with the pipe here, and then I can lower it down safely. I've also got my resonator pipe supported as well, so that whenever this comes free, this doesn't just drop. All right, now we can go ahead and take our two bolts out of our coupler and then pull off the resonator. You will want to retain these bolts. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take our MBRP resonator, set it up in place at our coupler. We're gonna reuse our factory bolts, but also we'll use the supplied washer. We're gonna get that connected, but only, uh, only snug. We're not going to tighten it down all the way just yet. We wanna be able to wiggle it around and adjust it. Okay, now here we've got our extension pipe. This actually comes to you 44 and a quarter inches long. I've got it cut down to 25 and a quarter inches per hour instructions because we've got a super crew with a five and a half foot bed. Um, we've also got a three inch band clamp. We're gonna go ahead and slide that on there and then slide it onto the resonator. And set the band clamp in place for right now. Don't tighten it down just yet. 
All right, next what we want to do is take our uh, hang tight hanger and assemble it to our three inch band clamp. Now I've already gone ahead and loosened up that band clamp. Uh, I've got the threads recessed down into the, the nut. Make sure you don't pull that nut all the way off because this is under pressure and you have to squeeze it to get the nut back on. What we're gonna do is put it over top of the keyhole here. Then what we're gonna do is squeeze it and then slide it down into place just like so. Now we can go ahead and install it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take our band clamp with our hanger and slide it onto our extension pipe. Make sure the hanger is facing towards the back of the vehicle. We're gonna take our MBRP muffler and slide it over, get it fully engaged. Okay, now I've got it supported back here just so I can hold on to it and get it all lined up. But what we're gonna do is line up our band clamp and get it slid over top. Once we get it in there, we're gonna go ahead and line up to the isolator and then slide it in place. All right, now let's go ahead and move back. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and take our first bent pipe. This is the smaller of the two. We're gonna have a hanger bracket coming off of the end of it. It's gonna face towards the front of the vehicle. We're gonna hook it up to this isolator right here. Now I've already gone ahead and lubed it up and the isolator with a little bit of grease so that it slides in a little easier. It is very tight fit though, so you will have to work it in. Once you get it through, you wanna take a band clamp, slide it onto the tube and then line it up to the muffler. Now I may have to lower down my support on the muffler. Oh, actually it turns out I don't. Once it slid all the way in there, we can go ahead and slide our band clamp in place and move to our next pipe. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and bring up our rear pipe. I've already got our band clamp on the flared end. We're gonna take our hanger and slide it into the isolator. I've already got it lubed up as well. Now this is a tight fit, so just kind of push it nice and firmly. It will slowly go into place. Once you get it started in there, then you can go ahead and line up the last pipe with our pipe that we've just installed. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take our exhaust tip and slide it over the end of the pipe. Get it nice and straight, and then we're gonna tighten that down with a 5 16 Allen. All right, now with everything all lined up, we're gonna go ahead and use a 15 millimeter and tighten down all of our band clamps, starting from the back and working towards the front. And lastly, we're gonna use a 13 millimeter to tighten down our factory bolts to the flange. We're gonna do a little bit on each side evenly so that it tightens down straight. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna know more about the products, check the links in the description below. As always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.